So looking at short term versus long term fuel trim, we're looking at uh, like the short term use of fuel versus the uh, long term use of fuel in terms of what we see coming out in the exhaust and the performance uh, that we see the, the vehicle actually, you know, like giving the user. Um, so when we calculate this, again, it is a difference problem. We're calculating the difference. So a difference problem is subtraction. So for this problem, all we're going to be doing is taking our long term uh, fuel trim and then we're subtracting our short term fuel trim, whatever the values are. Um, so in this particular example, our long term fuel trim is negative 12.3. And then we're subtracting, finding the difference. 3.6. And that's going to be um, percentage. So once we calculate that out, our answer is going to be, see, when we have a, um, a negative minus a number, anytime that you have a, uh, a minus sign, you can always throw an imaginary plus sign in front of that and think of it as adding two negative numbers together. That's what I like to do. So in this instance, the easiest way to get to the answer, in my opinion, it's just going to be adding 3.6 and 12.3 and, and uh, leaving them in a negative form. It's going to be negative 15.9%. And then, you know, just to take it back to the context of the original problem, um, remember that we want to see a 0% difference between um, our short and long-term fuel trim values. So to calculate out a difference of 15.9 puts us somewhere, you know, like here on this line, um, which as we can see means that we're going to have richer exhaust, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to go down this, this list of uh, expected specs. So fuel trim, um, from what I understand, it's kind of a beast out in the real world. So hopefully this helps kind of demystify what you're looking at and you can use it, um, you know, in a real situation.